What's up guys, quick video today. This trick is gonna save your ass in a lot of situations. So it'll be a quick video and you're probably gonna love this trick. So say you have a cube or any other object, I don't care what it is, and you wanna move it. You can move it on the local, or in this case, it's just the global axes, the Y, the X, and the Z axes, right? Now, if it's slightly rotated off axis, the entire grid space, which you can't see actually happening, but behind the scenes, the entire grid rotates with it meaning you can actually move it on the local Z by pressing G and Z twice. The local Y you can move it, and the local X you can move it. So what happens if we press Control A and apply the rotation? Well, that um, is baked into it, so now I can't actually move it. The global axes are baked in now, so I can't move it on the local axes anymore. I can press G and Y, Y, nothing happens. Same for Z and same for X. It's only going to move it in the global space. But not all hope is lost. Although we um, were pretty much baked in, the rotation's baked, Blender still detects that this face or any of these faces are all um, facing one specific direction, right? Blender recognizes this and we can use this information to our advantage. So all we need to do is go into edit mode, select any of these faces here. We're gonna go to the orientation panel, click on the plus button. And basically what this does is it tells Blender Take the data from the direction this face is facing and use it to reconstruct the original local coordinates. So now, if I try to move this along the z-axis, you're going to see this custom orientation detects that direction. So now we can actually get back to where we were before, even though the rotation's applied. Same if you go into edit mode here, you can select any of these faces and basically move it along that local axis. You can do the y, the z, and of course the x and um, you're basically saved. So this is a super powerful tool a lot of people don't know about, so hopefully you can use this in your workflow to your advantage. So quick video, thanks for watching.